beautiful day today. It's really warm and the lighting is just mellow. It's like kind of overcast, but oh yeah, it's just very calm, enjoyable weather today. I'm really liking it. And I've been inside all day. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. So, yeah, thinking about ISIS. People, um, just, yeah, the superiority thing, man, is really crazy. Like, oh, I'm better than you. Like, my ideals are better than you. This is what people accuse vegans of having, uh, this kind of, like, rhetoric. You know, I'm better than you, this and that. And, um... I don't, like, or my ideology is better than yours, ideology kind of thing. Uh, your goals in life are less, import, less important than mine. This is the kind of talk we get, okay? And we hear this from all kinds of people. But uh, vegans get accused of having this ideology all the time. Here's my trip, all right? My trip is that fucking people want a lot of the things that I'm after and that I'm using my vegan... Um, way of bit being, I'm using my, you know, fruitarian lifestyle um, to achieve the, the, you know, my vision of utopia. I want a peaceful world where we build topsoil as opposed to destroy it, and we treat all creatures on earth, even plants, with compassion. This is my, my vision of a utopian world, a truly advanced society. And, um, yeah, like, my, the, I, I, I envision, like, a really perfect world, kind of. Uh, um, just a, a planet that we can live on in harmony forever. Or as long as the planet lives, we'll be around to enjoy it. This is what I imagine. I think we as humans have the power to have this. So, I don't know, like, I think people do want a more peaceful world, but just like really low standards so yeah I try and up people's standards but really what I, I don't try and promote fruitarianism I just promote veganism because the, the veganism will actually bring about like these goals that people try to have of like a more peaceful world and uh, less pollution and disease less war you know um, just a more ethical society all around Ugh, my car is falling apart. Um, and, and yeah, so I'm not trying to like say like my vision of a better world is better than yours, but people have a vision, uh, just, well, want a better world, maybe they don't have a vision, don't get how to get there. So I'm just trying to help you get from point A to point B, get to where you want to be. So I'm not trying to change your ideology or change your goals. I'm just trying to show you this is how the fuck you do it. You know, so you, I, I'm, I'm trying to help people not be like victims of the system and actually use the system to um, make it better and use the system to really, you know, just live the life they want, man. Like life is short, yeah. Like, but to be an ethical part, uh, to be uh, happy, you got to be ethical. You, you got to follow your ethics, and that's gonna. Um, make a much better life for you. And if you don't believe that, well, I can't convince you of that in this video. But, you know, so we vegans are getting fucking accused of pushing our beliefs on people when we're really just trying to help, honestly, honestly. And yeah, we cut, we get kind of pissed off because it's like, w wouldn't you be pissed off if somebody was like sitting around eating cake and ice cream and Doritos and complaining about how they're fat and they got disease? and stuff like that. I, I get fucking pissed off at them. And the same applies to, like, bigger things in the world. I mean, yeah, vegan veganism, like, helps with that whole Dorito situation, but it also helps with, like, a larger world issues. Like, some of the biggest problems in the world would be solved if just everyone went vegan. Start eating a healthy plant-based diet, which is possible and affordable and fucking practical, man. For God's fucking sake, like, the only supplement you need as a vegan is vitamin B12, and that's because of bacteria in the soil, uh, or, and in our guts, and, like, all over the world, bacteria make B12, 
and like for obvious reasons B12 is a problem because the bacteria situation on the planet right now is all fucked up with all the pesticides and just like antibacterial shit that we have like all the poisons first thing that's gonna go is bacteria before it kills like larger organisms and whatnot so it's obvious why the B12 issue but fortunately we only have one vitamin that we require that's made by bacteria and that's B12 so a B12 supplement is very cheap I spend like three or four bucks a month on a B12 supplement okay fuck fucking yeah it's I I understand not everybody in the world can go vegan, but fucking for 99% of the fucking people on the world, it's the best thing to do. And lots of people are vegan just by necessity because they can't afford anything else. Vegan is good and healthy for the planet and it's practical and it's possible. Believe me. If you don't believe it, look into it, ask questions. Don't just listen to some paleo blogger that says you might be deficient in calcium, iron and zinc or something, which is bullshit, all right? It's fucking bullshit. I can get all my minerals and vitamins from rice and fucking broccoli, all right? It's easy. It's simple, and it's the best way to do it, nutritionally. Um, and just ecologically, economically, vegan is the best for all civilized people. Um, yeah, sorry, I just went off on a tangent there, but it's just stupid that people don't even think that it's possible. But anyway, as far as practicability goes, um, where was I going? So, yeah, we're, we're getting, like, attacked for pushing our ideologies on people, even though we're just trying to help. Genuinely proven, okay, there. Um, here's the reality, though. People trying to push their ideologies on people. We're going fighting these ISIS people because they're trying to, like, push our, their ideologies on us, or they're trying to cleanse the world of those that don't share their ideology. But this is, like, the media pretty... Where do we get all our information on this ISIS group? We just get it from the mainstream media. Like, I don't know what these people's core beliefs are. I don't know any of that shit. We have, like, opposing belief systems here. This is what's going on. Like, opposing religious beliefs. And uh, we're going over there to kill them because they're trying to kill us. And it, they're, we're killing, like, their young children, their innocent fucking children. It's an, a state, an Islamic state. So this is a government. This is a country, a legitimate country. And we're going to kill their citizens because their citizens are killing us. Because of these opposing ideologies. I just, I don't trust the fucking media to tell me everything about this ISIS group. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's people trying to push ideologies on each other and it doesn't fucking matter what you believe, it matters what you do. If the, the, This group wants to, ISIS apparently, like believes that they're gonna create their utopia if they get all these people to have their ideology. But their ideology has no fucking practice. Right? They have no fucking, uh, you know, idea of what their utopia is going to look like. They just know what the people that are going to have it and the, and the beliefs that people have. Vegans don't have beliefs like this, okay? We don't. We actually just do what needs to be done to get what we want. It's simple. I mean, there's a basic human need for peace and security and nourishing food. These are needs that we have and we do what it takes to get there because we have intellect. We use our minds we use our fucking brain to get what we need as humans, to satisfy these human needs. We use intellect. And these ideological groups, fucking ISIS, the US Marine Corps, the military, all over the world, it's all about ideology and it, they don't really fucking have any ethics. They don't have like moral guidelines how you should live your life. They have, like, religious books that give truths about the universe and stuff. <laughs> I mean, look at Buddhism. He gives great advice. and he, I, I mean, advice, yeah, but mostly it's like, here's the way the world works. And, uh, you know, same in the Quran, same in the Bible. Shows you how the world works. But it, um, you know, our, our human needs are very much more scientific and, and they're, you know, um... Our, our needs are based on, like, today's uh, economical climate, today's ecological climate. Our needs um, are just, they're modern, you know, and um, our, our methods of 
achieving these needs are modern and all and still require innovation we've never been peaceful we've always been savages we came from apes or we you know we even if we didn't come from apes we're we've been a very uncivilized society throughout um, human history and we need to advance um, to you know just just to improve society so it's uh, vegan is just the way to do that man um, to improve society so I don't know maybe you don't believe in improving society in which case I think uh, you're right on with um, either apathy not doing anything and just letting everything burn around you or going out and fighting war but the war you're not you're not okay just let me be clear this is what I want to clarify here if you um, if you believe that you can go and fight people and make the world a better place in today's climate, in, in this World War III that's going on right now, you're wrong. You don't make the world a better place by being violent. And I, I think this has, I've explained why this is, because, um, well, geez, I mean, I, didn't I just explain it? Like, we need to ha focus on what it is that we want. We need to focus on what it is that we want. The law of attraction is your thoughts become your reality. So, solving problems is a big one. But it's about, it's not It's not just about the problems. We gotta focus on the solutions, on what's gonna be there once the problems are solved. So the problem, you know, like, it just takes a little extra effort to actually have this visualization. This is what, I'm just repeating the same thing over and over again, I know. But you gotta visualize. Visualize what kind of world you want. And then just do what it takes to get that to that uh, world. That That's what it is, man. Visualize the kind of world you want. I imagine it every day, and you'll just realize as time goes on, as you continue developing your vision, your, your own personal utopia, if you continue developing that, you're you're gonna you're, you're you're gonna get what you want and you're you're gonna just be able to better define it and I think we're gonna realize that people's idea of utopia is not a world full of violence so yeah um, I, I'm I don't know if anybody's gonna disagree with that but please like share your comments you know make a response video um, if you're willing to, uh, I'm willing to take the big detailed comments. Write me out a fucking essay, please. I want to hear your arguments to this. Like, do you think um, we can create a better world by getting rid of certain types of people or promoting an ideology? I don't. I don't. I. I do you think that um, our belief systems really matter as much as? Um, what what we do to satisfy our needs and whether or not what we do is an efficient effective way of doing that um, yeah send your arguments I know I'm not really leaving this very open for a debate but fucking yeah I just want to make you think like <sighs> defend your own life but don't go fighting people man this is we're moving backwards with this we're moving backwards your fighting will not help it is not helping It is doing the opposite right now okay um, there, you have it, peace and plants and health, all that jazz, wishing you a fruitful life, uh, stay tuned for more videos, Civilized Human, out.